Hello everybody and welcome to the walkthrough for the Knight's Sword, the next quest in our Hardcore Ironman series, which is a lovely little quest which gives you an absolute ton of smithing XP, which massively accelerates your training through the early levels. On a non-Ironman, you can do this from level 1 smithing and it'll get you all the way to level 29. On an Ironman, you do need level 10 smithing in order to be able to smith the two iron bars which you need, but it still lets you skip from there all the way up to level 30. Starts off in the White Knight's Castle in Thalador, so head into there from the Lodestone and chat to Squire Azrael, who's over there, here. He will explain that he has lost Sir Vivin's sword, and you kindly offer to make him a new one. But it's not quite that simple. His sword was a family heirloom made by the Mkando Dwarves, so you'll need to find one of them and get them to make the sword for you. We'll begin by heading to Barrock Library, which is just up here in the north of the castle, and chatting to Reldo, the librarian, who will tell us that the only remaining Imkando dwarves live south of Port Sarum. So make your way down there, just teleport to Port Sarum and run south, and you will find Thurgo sitting in his hut on the beach. Give him a red berry pie, and once you've done that he will very happily make the sword for you, but he needs a picture of it. So we have to return to Falador, chat to the squire, and he will tell you that the picture can be found in Sir Vivin's chambers. So just head up the ladder of stairs to the second floor, up the stairs here, and into Sir Vivin's room. You can have a very bizarre conversation about distracting him if you like, but he's not going to object if you just head into his room and steal from it, because apparently that's fine. Grab the picture and head back to Thurgo, and he will tell you that as well as the two iron bars, which you hopefully already have, you will need some blurite ore to make the sword. So head into the dungeon, which is just on the hill up here, and run through to where the ore is. There are a couple of low level mobs here, which shouldn't give you too much trouble, but do bring some food if you're wired, and then into the ice section of the dungeon here. The blurite ore is over on the far side, but you run and stand tucked into the corner where I'm standing here, then none of the mobs will be able to hit you, and you can mine some ore in peace. Once you've got it, take it back to Thurgo, and he will make the sword for you, and once you have delivered it to the squire back in Thalador, the quest is done. Really nice and simple, and you see here it gives nearly 13k smithing XP, which is going to give me this beautiful, beautiful XP drop and take me all the way to level 30 smithing, skipping a lot of the early level training and getting me straight up to the ability to smith mithril, which is really nice. Anyway, I will leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all for the next quest in the series.